Hey, Tio Tears, how you guys doing? Uh, I am doing a OS review update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification button. Nothing was wrong in the review that I did, but it was after I had actually recorded the, the, the review and released the review on the channel that the developer actually contacted me and told me that I was one day too early in releasing my review because he had just released his newest distribution. And that was the Red Core OS review that I did a few days ago for Gen 2. It's a Gen 2 based distribution. And uh, he talked to me about that he did it. And so I want to kind of give a little brief review of what the main update is that he did to the, which is the uh, Rastaban uh, edition that he did uh, that is different from the other uh, review that I did. And that's basically that the it has had its uh, ups and downs in the fact that it was sometimes five to seven days, sometimes a little bit longer, lag in between syncing with the regular Gen 2 distribution packages and, and kernel and, and software. And so due to time constraints, he wasn't always able to update it readily and right away. So uh, in essence, uh, Gen 2 users, standard Gen 2 users would get updates to packages and stuff five to seven days earlier before Red Core did in, in much the same way as Manjaro does with Arch Linux off the vanilla Arch, you know, distribution that it sometimes holds packages back a couple of days in order to test the new ones because uh, they weren't always too sure, like if it was going to break things or not, like this last Grub update broke Arch, uh, Manjaro that were on the stable version of it didn't experience the whole nightmare that happened with that and to that extent uh if there's the way that red core was doing it before with the five to seven days lag uh, a lot of things that would break in standard gen 2 weren't going to break as readily as this because it would already be fixed by the time that it was updated and yada 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 but um starting in mid-july he implemented some changes and now red core linux resyncs itself with gen 2 linux every six hours so if you are installing Gen 2 Linux and it doesn't resync itself within six hours, um, might want to you know do a bug tracker with them over on their Redcore Linux.org webpage, or perhaps maybe manually resync it through the command line. Either way, uh, the resync with Gen 2 Linux testing tree as of 5.10.22 is a new thing. It also has the 5.19 kernel in there, glib. 2.3, uh, Mesa 12.2, also 1.2, the LTS kernel edition. If you install the LTS kernel, you're looking at 15.5, uh, KD Plasma 5.25 is in there now, Gear is 22.08, and Frameworks is 5.98. So it's caught up. All the web browsers updated to the latest upstream release, so it's Firefox 105.2, Google Chrome, who cares, Opera 90.00, Vivaldi, and Microsoft Edge, which is another who cares. But, you know, that's just my personal preferences. I'm not into either of those guys. Also, eSync works out of the box now. Time Shift is now pre-installed. And the bug fixes with Mod Pro BXT4 is, uh, works now. Uh, the installer no longer allows empty passwords, and Sisyphus no longer gets stuck when the dependency list is entirely too large. Which I gotta tell you that in my review, one of the single most impressive things that I liked about Redcore was the Sisyphus package manager. It is just it is semblant to the Synaptic package manager. It is easy to use, so if you're coming over from a Debian based world. Uh, it's wonderful. You can just load it right in. Yes is also another one. that's similar to it. Uh, they're, they're all got the same look and feel. So, I mean, it's easy to use. It's wonderful. Um, discovers flat pack, uh, backend for the KDE derivative of, um, red core. 
uh, is no longer takes ages to load, so it loads pretty quick. But that used to be an issue with Discover itself and in of itself, but they've now fixed it. And due to re user requests, the WA supplicant now supports less secure algorithms like WEP, WPS, and TKIP. So, and right now, the only known selected issue would be installation language install system seems to always end up reverting or going regression back to english so basically once you select a different in install to or lang language to install and it it'll always somehow revert back to english when it installs so he's working on that so basically you'd have to go in and reinstall your language after you've already installed you know so but other than that those are the that's what's updated in the new red core os um stay tuned because he is going to come on board the channel uh thanks guys if there's something you want to say or comment or anything please like and smash the button down below and leave a comment as to uh you know anything that you want to tell me about uh certainly criticism is um, i'm not a stranger to it nor am i offended by it i encourage it because uh if i can't take what you guys have to say to heart and see if it is something that i can improve upon or that I'd already thought about, and this is the choice that I made, I have no problem discussing that in any way, shape, or form. Because in the end, criticism builds character. It also gives me a different view of what other people are looking at, and it, it improves my video-making quality and also my information-sharing quality. So I always welcome that. Either way, have a great day, and keep on Linuxing.